Well, I uh, listening to, to Richard is uh, always a pleasure. And I think that uh, th this uh, differentiation between happiness and pleasure and, and social competence as a measure of uh, fulfillment, let's say, it's, it's really very, very interesting. It's very suggestive of, of uh, you know, it's a line that we can pick and, and just, uh, you know, see where we can reach uh, out of it. Uh, I, I completely tend to, to agree with he, him. I think that uh, in a society where we are privileging now, we are putting a very high ranking, the values of uh, self-satisfaction, uh, which is very related to consumerism uh, uh, and to a kind of a rapid reward to our feelings. Uh, the, the, this, ref this thinking about, well, the part is over. Why don't we think again what is going on and, and wh wh where are the real roots of our uh, issues and how we can better off uh, our conviviality? Uh, I think it, that's very clear. And the problem uh, is that the, the modern uh, city, the one that we are still uh, living on, it's a city which was designed in, in 1930 with the best uh, intentions, but uh, the industrialization of the model after the Second World War has produced a totally segregated city. Uh, this idea that, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 idea, the, the romantic idea of, of Courbusier and Cert and all these people of um, having a, a, a village-like uh, 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 place inside the big city uh, has been perverted after the Second World War in this industrial massive production, although the terminology is the same. We are talking of the super aisles or the super blocks. Um, uh, we are talking about zoning, uh, segregating again. Uh, and the zoning, at the end, it becomes not just industrial zoning or uh, uses of land zoning. It, 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 at the end, it's social zoning. Uh, okay, th this, is, this is the end of the romantic uh, view of, of the city as a place of encounter of diversity. I still uh, choose as my best definition of a city uh, as the city is the place where you find what you are not looking for. <laughs> and I think that this is still the best definition of, of city. And, and the, modern, the, the perversion of the modern city uh, after the Second World War uh, it's just the opposite. You find exactly what you are looking for. Uh, you have the mm, residential superblock, you have the business district superblock, you have the commercial district superblock, you have uh, the mm, uh, recreational, even recreational zoning of the, zone, of the city. This is completely, you know, awful. Um, my final comment would be, what is happening with, new, with the new uh, high, high tech uh, uh, and the new, uh, you know, internet communication systems, the, this, this massive uh, Facebook, Twitter and all that? Is that really in the, in the, in the cloud, favoring the inter connection with different people, or is that through this kind of technology, we are only talking with the ones that they are like with us. And I think that this is a very interesting question in the sense that if the only thing that we do with social media is to increase the number of people to whom we talk, that they are exactly like us, we are not contributing, even through these new technologies of the 21st century, to the real good city. Just the contrary. We are entering a risk of a perversion of closing our 
chances of communicating with the others. What you have called uh, maturity or, or uh, you know, uh, social competence, social competence. If, if in fact we are keeping our thinking with the same of us that we are too <laughs> similar, I think that even in, in this I, I, imagine, uh, imagine city of the of the cloud, the theoretical city of the minds. Uh, we are still closing uh, the the chances and, and closing, putting barriers between different social groups and different realities. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Richard, for for your insight. I think that uh, it gives a lot of uh, a lot of uh, thought for uh, you know food for thought how you say that in english food for thought huh? thank you